guys I kill you here and I'm back again with another video I don't know how many of you guys seen my last uh, last video but I made a video for uh, for Iscal 85 he was uh, building a um, Hermitron uh, booster pack loader and I made this design to show him and but the and I was thinking about the design, but it's got a, a few flaws on it, and it made me come up with an idea how um, how we could possibly fix it. I'm going to show you what the flaw is in the system. When we when we look at our system here, we were loading this system, and the system uh, split the items into three. But as as we notice, when we split this top chest. Uh, it was going to split uh, either between this chest or this chest. It was going to split 50% would go here, the other 50% would go here. So you would end up with 50% of your items in this dropper and 25% in each one, leaving it uh, unbalanced. Uh, it was enough to it was enough to randomize the packs. Uh, so to speak, but it made me th think uh, what can we do in Minecraft uh, to help us split items up in, in a more efficient and better way if we wanted to uh, run a system like this that we needed to take one chest and turn it into multiple chests. So I come up with this idea here um, and it's not all that tiny, but uh, we could implement this as a circuit into another system uh, in order to uh, split up items evenly amongst really however many divisions you wanted. But anything other, if it's two, if it's one, you don't need to divide those because you can do it with a lock topper and a double chest. But if it's an odd number like three, uh, if it's an odd number like uh, five, seven, anything like that, you're going to have a trouble. Um, automatically sorting those into three separate stacks and this machine does that perfectly and uh, I'm gonna go over its function with you here and as you can see I've loaded this back chest here uh, it is loaded up with items and if we can get the hitbox of this dropper and maybe we need an empty hand here let's get rid of this hopper if we can there we go. It's it's filled up here. Um, let's go ahead and top this thing off here and let it work for a while. Okay, top it off. So all those items are going to flow down into that dropper. And as we can see, we have underneath the dropper is a single source block of water. And then we have these three pistons, which allow our system to uh, divert the water into three uh, different directions and maybe we can hop up here and see better and as, what happens is, is as the piston comes up to divert um, the water it also triggers that dropper to fire one item and that one item is then carried away by the water stream and placed into the chest so if we take a look at these chests, they should be fairly even. 59, 59, 58. That one should now be 59. Um, and so all the items will come down and be evenly distributed among the three. So what we have here is we needed to find a way to fire three separate um three separate lines and have them stay powered long enough for this to work and that was a little tricky because it's hard to do with a clock you could go on and off between two lines with a hopper clock um, let me demonstrate uh, what I mean uh, real quick there's a, the etho hopper clock that many people use um, this for as you uh, build here let's see we're gonna need uh, sticky pistons uh, we're going to need a block, we're going to need uh, redstone here, block here, redstone, and let's see, can we, can we do the sticky piston off of there, sticky piston, sticky piston, oh no, my bad guys, sorry, I was building uh, the vertical design, here we go. 
when we when we do something like this, uh, as we notice, uh, we can trigger two at a time. But it but it took me a little while to figure out how we might trigger more than two at a time. How could we trigger three and it be a clock uh, and still be condensed? And I got to thinking about that, and I remembered. Uh, when the shulker box design came out actually before that I remember Etho was trying to come up with a way to um, to uh, store memory uh, throughout a system and so that he could create uh, a different game I don't remember what he was using but but it was this idea of a, a dropper hopper dropper hopper dropper and what that would do was store where an item would sit. So when we have an item in this dropper, excuse me, when we have an item in this drop, it'll power here. When there's an item in that drop, it'll power there. And an item in this drop, it'll power there. So what happens is, is we get a redstone signal in here and fires the dropper so that it can move into the next hopper. And while it's moving, while it's fired into the hopper, the hopper pushes in into the next dropper, firing the very next one, as you can see here. Um, automatically locks and it stays on until it fires again. And so therefore we have uh, a pulse uh, long enough to do what we need to do. And so by doing that, we also have our hoppers here that come around this way and reload. And we can actually, in theory, um, let's see, let's see if I can get the, we can actually, not that way, excuse me. Let me, um, let me get rid of that can do this and make it smaller now that I think about it. Uh, I don't know if there, there's not an item in the system anymore, so let's put one in. There we go. And so now that will fire. And it'll fire again, triggering that one. And it actually shortens our resources here. We only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hoppers instead of um, the nine that we did have. And so, but but I, I racked my brain all day, and I said, how can we fire simply fire that uh, dropper uh, in such a way that it would fire the item down, still leaving uh, room to input, and not have a bunch of bulky redstone going on? And uh, that was just why not use redstone blocks? Uh, it works perfectly, and originally I was, I might have a design over here that I was working on yesterday, and so much bulkier, guys. You, you, you always build your redstone and then come back and um, try to figure out how to make it smaller, and so I had this, this idea here. Um, where was my input? That's not my input. That's my output. Um, here's my and I had this on the ground. Well, what happened is you fire the item into the water. Occasionally, it would get stuck on the top of the piston and not actually go in the water stream, so you were losing items. But this way that we've built here, we can uh, effectively fire it and still sort it into three. And so now we have a way uh, in the game to uh, separate and, uh, and sort uh, evenly into odd number stacks into a system and I think this is just brilliant um, I, I don't mean to toot my own horn but uh, uh, I'm pretty impressed with myself on this one guys so uh, what we have to fire the system is is just again like we used on yesterday's video um, this fading comparator clock it just doesn't need to be as long so we have this fading comparator clock that operates the system and fires this and Obviously, we have these inverted uh, redstone signals so that when it's off, it's on. That way, it uh, releases the piston up and diverts the water. Uh, if you guys need a block by block tutorial, let me know. Leave a comment down in the in the thing and ask me to do a block by block. But I'm gonna do a slow creep around um, just so you guys can see just exactly what's. Uh, going on here uh, all these droppers are facing that direction um, all right guys if you have any comment uh, questions if you have any uh, suggestions uh, for future videos if you have any 
uh, ideas to make this uh, th this machine smaller, let me know. Or if you have any questions or want to see a block by block, block tutorial on this thing, just just leave the comment. Let me know. And 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 guys, as always, uh, please if you enjoyed the video, hit like. And uh, uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe because it helps my channel out a lot. And yeah, it's the only way you're gonna get the content that I'm creating. And and. Uh, Sometimes I do have a, a stroke of genius like this one. Thank you guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.